Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to set up REST application monitoring using Grafana. In the last video, we did learn how to set up Prometheus as a data source for scrapping your monitoring. So let's understand how to use same source in Grafana to add visualization for your application. I'll be using the same code mostly that we write in the last video. So I'll attach that video on the right drop. It should be popping somewhere. You can just watch that before moving on to this one. So you can know how to configure uh, Prometheus as a data source and how to visualize even using Prometheus UI. But in this video, we'll focus on uh, visualizing using Grafana for the Rust application. So let's get started. First of all, uh, the same web server, the same default monitoring that we have been sending and uh, in the Prometheus YAML, pretty much everything is same, the scrapping and evaluation and nothing changed in cargo terminal and the docker compose last time we only had prometheus but now we need grafana as well so let's quickly add grafana so we'll say grafana and image we'll use grafana slash grafana latest and then we'll use the container name as grafana restart as always ports and I'll bind the same port which is 3000 to 3000 then we have to pass a couple of environment variable one is Grafana security admin user now I'll be using the default admin admin as the uh, username and password you can keep the uh, username and password whatever you want to and once we have that last thing we need is depends on and it only depends on Prometheus so basically the data source remains the same Prometheus will scrap monitoring from our application and in the last video we visualized using the Prometheus UI in this in this video we'll uh, use Grafana to visualize it because Grafana is mostly used for visualizing from different data sources when you are working in the uh, companies or real world applications startups mostly grafana is used so that's pretty much all that we need to change so once you do that uh, just move to terminal and do first of all cargo run to spin up our application okay as you can see the application is launched now we'll open another terminal and here we'll quickly do docker compose up minus t and we can do docker ps to check as you can see uh, both the containers are up and running and we can see slash metric request coming in to scrap the data as well as you can see it's coming again and again after every five seconds as defined here now let's gather some data so for that we'll move to any testing tool that you prefer postman even browser or insomnia i'll just move to insomnia and let's generate some data so here we will send some request on 4000 on hello world as you can see it returns me hello world we can also send on the second endpoint that we have slash health as you can as you know it, it returns some dynamic status code 200 by requests too many requests and so on so i think the data is enough now let's move to our browser and start visualizing so once you are in your favorite browser just go to the port localhost 3000 as we bind in the docker compose and use the same password and username that we defined in our docker compose so i'll be using admin admin and because it's not a strong password so it asked me to change but i don't want to for now so i'll just skip this actually it just showed the grafana uh, v3 or oh, the endpoints but we don't need that we need the ui so i went back on localhost 3000 and then we add our first data source again as i'm as I told you guys, the data source is Prometheus, so select that. And then we have to configure our data source. Here you have to tell the URL. 
so our Prometheus container is running on HTTP Prometheus 1990 is the port and currently we don't use any authentication which we'll learn in a following video on how to add authentication but for now we can access publicly the metrics and uh, pretty much it we move down and we press save and test if you if you see this ui like this uh successfully queried the prometheus api meaning you are good to go and this data source can be used now we'll press the plus sign here to add new dashboard and we'll click add visualization use prometheus as the data source and we'll add our data source here to select the metric so let's say i'm selecting rocket and let's select total request we don't want to add any label and instead we want to let's say add a legend uh, custom legend and here i want to filter them by endpoint and let's bring the query down uh, we can name it as request count and we can use let's say a gauge and we save uh, request count let's say our request details as the dashboard there you go as you can see we have dashboard it's request details and inside we have request count and it shows the request count on each of the endpoint you can also go meanwhile on your uh, insomnia or testing tool and start adding some more request and then when as soon as you refresh the ui as you can see there is some change now why health shows up three times because every health was returning a different status code so we have to do different kind of grouping but that's kind of grafana level uh, but for now for this video you guys know like how to visualize your metrics and you can play around at different types of dashboards two different types of querying maybe group by uh, so you don't see multiple for each and that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understand the concept i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you for watching